Now, 800 CHAB presents Ask the Expert. Here's Rob Carney. With Greg Marcinek, Heritage Insurance, downtown Moose Jaw. It's that time of year. It has arrived. It's the snow, it's the ice, and we know it's coming. But we never seem to be really prepared for it when we get behind the wheel, do we, Greg? No, it's uh, always a very busy time for the auto bodies when that first snowfall comes. So the biggest thing is, is when that first snowfall does come, Drive very slowly and keep the five second following distance on everything uh, because it does take time to change our habits from our summer driving habits to our winter driving habits. So exaggerating your dentalness on your brake and accelerated pedals uh, will help you keep out of the auto body shop. Uh, the biggest thing again in Saskatchewan, as you know, survival uh, we continue to lose lives every year when people get stranded. Uh, the biggest thing is people don't dress warmly. And before starting a long trip, take the time to listen to the weather forecast that you give there at CHAB and uh, pay attention to storm warnings. And if you are traveling and if a storm does develop, just stop at a town or a village and just kind of hang and wait it out. Sure. Now, if you are stranded, always stay with your vehicle. First of all, keep calm. Secondly, uh, lower your downsided, downwitted side window slightly and open the air vent uh, to get fresh air into the vehicle. Run the engine to get some heat and listen to news reports, but don't run out of gas. Also, keep your exhaust pipe clear of ice and snow. Get into your emergency clothing before you get cold, and if necessary, use candles to keep warm. And be careful not to overexert yourself by shoveling or pushing your vehicle. Uh, many people die when they leave the vehicle to walk for help in a blizzard. If you stay with your vehicle, you have a far better chance of surviving and you're more likely to be found if you stay within that. And the other thing, never use your cruise control on wet or slippery conditions. That's uh, just definitely an out. Now, as far as when you're getting going, uh, you can usually start moving on ice or packed snow by accelerating gently. And if this does not work uh, you can use a slight downgrade by trying or moving in second gear now if you're stuck in deep snow try rocking the vehicle and to do this just slowly accelerate gently put your brake on let the vehicle wheel stop otherwise you'll ruin your transmission put it in reverse and again gently move back and just rock that remember to keep the brake on gas brake on just take your time with that and if you don't uh, search for traction, look for sand or grit. Uh, choose snow rather than ice, and a small movement to one side often move uh, from a low traction icy patch into a sand or snow, and the motion can usually be completed in your lane. And again, how to stop on slippery surfaces. Just shift to neutral, brake easily and gently. Again, search for the best traction on either side of the roads and take advantage of it. And always, always allow the extra space for other drivers to stop. And uh, they may not be as skilled as you and uh, or their traction may be worse. So always keep that good distance. And some of the temptations to resist is accelerating hard when you're passing. You don't know what the conditions are. And uh, forgetting that other drivers may not be making those proper allowances for winter conditions. And also, always keep your gas tank full. Never let it go below half. Number one, it's the condensation can build up. And number two, if you are stranded. There's a lot of things to keep in mind when you're driving this winter. And we can find these tips online, sir. That's correct. Go to nohassleinsurance.ca or just come on down to the office here at the corner of Fairford and First Street West, the one with the red truck on the roof. This has been Ask the Expert on 800 CHAB.